Nun Plug Fest to me is an excellent opportunity for engineers from competing companies to, to meet in a open environment. So at the end of the day, we need Bluetooth devices that work. And the best way to make sure that those devices are interoperable is to test them before they go out on the market. I think it's a whole um, event for Bluetooth engineers um, to discuss uh, matters about Bluetooth, how best to implement it. You sit down and every hour you're testing with a different company. And it, you know, at one moment it might be Ericsson, the next moment it might be Nokia, next moment it might be somebody you've never heard of. And make sure that your products work with their products before yours are released or before theirs are released. It's fantastic. You know, I can tell you every time we come here, there's, we, we, we always find an issue, an issue or two. Those devices that have gone to UPF are generally, uh, I guess, better, yeah. When a user receives a product and encounters problems in its interoperability with another Bluetooth product, it's the end user usually blames not only the product itself, but Bluetooth, and um, we, we can't afford that. One is the quality of their product, improving the quality of their own product, and then the second thing is improving their experience with testing and the technology on its own. When I leave the Unplug Fest, typically I know a lot more about my product in terms of how it's interoperating with um, other Bluetooth devices, um, how it's conforming to the Bluetooth spec itself. You get free imagination at an Unplug Fest because there's different people reading the spec in different ways. Some radios didn't have good power control and when they were being used, nobody else could work. And we told them, you know, you need to fix this. And they did. And the whole of the technology got better because of that. And that's the great thing about Unplug Fest, is once you find an issue, people discuss it, and you come away with stronger specifications, stronger interoperability, and much, much better products. In general, I would guess that, um, you know, it takes a little bit of effort to come to an Unplug Fest to organize it, to get management to pay for it, and, um, be aware of the value, but it saves money afterwards because we have a better product, fewer defects need fixing. Any engineer working on Bluetooth products needs to attend an Unplug Fest. There's uh, very few venues where you can, you know, walk into, into a big, you know, uh, room and, and, and be sitting around uh, two, three hundred engineers that have the same interests at, at, that, at that time that, 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 you know, than you have. If you find a problem on the Monday or Tuesday with a particular device, you fix the code on the Wednesday and retest with them on the Thursday. That's such a great turnaround time. This is certainly the best opportunity to, be to test against other products. We can make sure that we work with every other device that is out there in the market today and will be out there in the market in six months time. And that's something that UPF does that you can't get anywhere else. And that's why UPFs are so valuable to us. Most people that go to UPF has products that are confidential. So it's in everyone's interest to preserve a confidentiality. Uh, security and confidentiality is quite important factors for the Unplug Fest because if there wouldn't be that, the engineers wouldn't feel safe We're bringing basically non-release products to a testing event. Well, I at least want to just make Bluetooth work as best as possible. And that's good for, for my company as well as um, for, for Bluetooth as a whole. I mean, if my worst rival performs good on the market, it will be good for me also. If my phone doesn't work with your headset, we all lose, right? So that's why we're not only rivals, we're partners. And all the rumor sites on the internet would love to have pictures of that device and the description of how it works. Never have we ever had a leakage from an Unplug Fest. The Bluetooth SIG is committed towards providing the best possible opportunity for its members to uh, test their products in a confidential manner. You've got 200, 300 engineers, all of which need to be fed and, more importantly, supplied with coffee. Coffee is an essential resource for an engineer. I was surprised at the openness in communication and helpfulness of the other attendees. The numbers seem to steadily increase, you know, the number of attendees, um, you know, and I think that's, that's um, a great sign. With the Unplug Fest, the, the SIG has shown commitment above and beyond what most other organizations would, would do. Not only have they organized Unplug Fests from 
very early in the Bluetooth development. They've done so consistently with the participants in mind and with the, the companies in mind.